Hi, it's Monty from Sportive Cyclist, the Mammal Channel. In this video, I'm going to continue the work to renovate my Trek Domain 4.3 road bike. Yeah. So far, in previous videos, I've replaced the bottom bracket, I've fitted the front and rear derailleurs, rear derailleurs complete with new jockey wheels, I've attached the brakes, front and rear. I've also refitted the fork with new bearings in the headset. Next job, I'm going to attempt to install the new gear cables, maybe the brake cables. First though, I need to remove the bar tape from the handlebars, give the uh, shifters a good look actually to understand how they work. So let's get into it. Taking photos so that I remember where all of the cables come out of and how far the bar tape went along the handlebars. one, I believe, is our gear cable. <laughs> this. Other bit of cable housing. New cable cutters. I need to measure the cable housing such that it matches the lengths of these two. Both bones. Rusty, the old one. Add the cable back in. Done it. Goes there. That goes 
Okay, about that. Wind's getting up. Just gonna lightly attach that into place and then uh, well, see where we are. Well, shock horror, I've actually managed to fit the rear derailleur cable, I think. And it actually clicks and moves sort of as it should. I won't cut the cable and fit the end cap quite yet. I'll wait until all the rest of the drivetrain's fitted and tested before I do that. But now I'm actually thinking, and I might regret this, I think I'm gonna remove the bar tape. There's no real going back from this one. Now that there is where a mouse used to nibble on this when it was in the garage. watch this footage to see how I, uh, I'm taking it off. I'll put it back on again. Would maybe help. You can see. That's not there. That's there. Oh, it's on the inside. There it is. It should pop that. Look there. Also remember the other shifter had plenty of grease just in there. Right then, let's cut this other housing. What am I doing? This is possibly quite useful if you are struggling to get the cable back into a what? A left hand shifter. It's the shifter that operates the front derailleur. Basically, I've cut off a bit of cable here to show you. When I first tried to thread it through, it popped out somewhere over here. Now, this bit is normally covered by a plastic piece here that goes sort of over there. When that's not there, you can use, you can use that sort of gap to feed the cable, which is there. See how it's coming out through there? You can feed it into that little white guide and then it will pop correctly out of the top. But I can't do that because I'm holding a mobile phone. Sure. Tape comes out the side, so I'm guided in. I doubt this is how they do it in bike shops. There you go. Coming out the correct spot now. Before I forget, let's put this piece back. Pull this through. Again, I'm just loosely, loosely tightening. Is this gonna work? <gasps> right, emboldened by this apparent success, I'm going to give replacement of the brake cables a go now. But first, I think I'm just gonna 
chop a little bit off this gear cable. It's a bit too long. I'm sure there's plenty to play with. Uh, Easy one first, front brake cable. Uh, I think we just sort of pull it out of here, really. Ta -da. Long brake cable, short brake cable. Might give that a wipe out. I don't even know what these little donuts are, but I think I might put them back on. The shorter one. The cleaner cut. This one, not so much. Long one. Right, and then the little rubber donuts. If anyone actually knows what these rubber donuts do. Hey, let me know in the comments. I assume actually they keep the uh, the cable off the carbon frame. Need to tighten that. Quickly chop this cable just before the battery dies on this camera. Right, I think we'll leave it there for today's video. Made reasonable progress. Managed to install the gear cables, the brake cables, remove the bar tape, and so far it looks as if it's all working. In the next video, well, we're down to only a few items in my box of tricks. I think there's a cassette a new chain and the bar tape, the new bar tape, I'll take these on and then it's just a case of finishing off and uh, huh, this bike might be rideable. Join me in the next video.